Hi everyone and welcome to my FIFA 500 car tour. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new, you are all very welcome and I hope you are all doing well. As you can tell, I'm in a bit of a weird change of scenery and I like it. If you have been on my media recently, mostly my Instagram or my TikTok, you would have seen a bunch of new car videos even though I've got this car about week and a half and I'd say I've probably posted most than anybody has probably posted ever of their car. As you all know that since you clicked into this video, yes this is a car tour of my Fiat 500 2011. This one is more old fashioned than all the other new Fiat 500s. Obviously you know if you go by the year it's going to be a little bit older or it could be a little bit newer. So if I went for a 2020 it would have all these controls on the wheels and everything which mine does not mine doesn't even have an aux cord let me tell you i'm 100 percent terrible at trying to remember the names of everything to do with the car so if somebody asked me what's the engine size or like what what's the i i actually don't even know <laughs> and like i know i have all this information somewhere but it's just my head just doesn't catch it and I just don't remember it. But I have a few things written down on paper which I'll just tell you. So make model of the car is Fiat 500, obviously I know that. The color is red, obviously as you can tell. The mileage is 86, wait is that? 86,028. This is what I mean, I'm terrible with numbers. Because here it goes. 86,281 miles. He wrote it better on this one. I have the book here, but I don't think this book tells me anything to do with my car, just Fiat 500s all together. Um, but honestly, I'm just excited to show the car and what it looks like and how I find it so far. And I've only driven it for a week. And it's my first ever car and it doesn't have to be fancy ass diamonds. It's a car to do me until I pass my test and go for another one. This is what it looks like from the driver's seat. You basically just have your wheel with your horn. I would beep it, but Evan's in a conference call at the moment. But yeah, everybody kind of likes it. I like it especially because it kind of reminds me of like a 60s diner. It's so cute and it's just the color of it is just so fabulous. It's so old fashioned and that's just my style. I'm so into like the 60s, 50s. And then this is what the dashboard and everything looks like. It's such a shiny color and you should see it when the sun is shining. When the sun shines, oh my god. And then that's how much room is on top. Now I got this from the place. It was already on the car and I'm kind of concerned about the word they tried to write. But I got this one today and it smells fabulous now the mirror is also one of my favorite things it's so clean and it's so spacious and you can literally see like you can see from here that you can see all out the window and then my auntie got me this please protect me my passengers and all who I pass by so she got me that which I'm really thankful for and then Evan got me this ages ago and I decided to put it in my car instead of his car. Nanny got me holy water which I'm just going to leave there. I'm also very very thankful for because you can never have too much luck for your car. <laughs> and then for this one you just have like the mirror here and obviously again like I said the mirror is so clean and clear and big which is fabulous. And then I have my L plates on guys. So oh, basically these are all the controls on my car so if you want just turn on the radio you have Fiat so I have a CD in here and then there's this thing which I actually only found out the other day it's bass and then obviously these are just your controls go back and forth on the radio and then like I said I do not have an aux cord where some have an aux cord here so Evan gave me this so basically I connect it and it tells me to go to a 
type of station. So the station it wants me to go to is 107. And I pretty much go onto my phone and connect it to Bluetooth. And that's how I can play music. So it's not so much of a bust. The old fashioned, not that much many controls to distract me. And I can still play my own music. Which And then obviously these are your controls. Turn up and down. And it's your air conditioning. And that's just what way you want it. So you can either have it that way or that way. People will explain this all a lot better than me. Yeah, and then just towards your face, your feet and your head mainly. Right. I remember somebody explained this to me before, but they, they actually said a name for it. I'm not sure. I haven't figured these out though. I don't exactly know what these do. A lot of people probably do. I don't. So now this one is my favorite control of them all. When it's my turn on my car, I'll show you. So it has a city mode. And what city mode does, it makes your wheel a lot looser. So my wheel just will feel like a normal wheel. But with this one, it's like, it's good if you're going through a city or through town or anything. It makes the wheel a lot looser, so it's easier to drive, which obviously I'll probably still use that anyway. And then obviously this is if you're in an emergency. And then these are my high beams. Now we are down to these buttons here. So that button is to control that window there. And then that button controls this window here. Um, so basically all you do is just press either if you want it down or if you want to back up And then I love that the gear stick is right here in front of you instead of all the way down here It's such an easy gear stick to use and it doesn't have six gears, which I absolutely I'm so excited for I'm terrible with this stick, okay? When I said earlier that I'm only kind of having this car for temporary until I pass my test And then obviously go out looking for another car unless my mind changes but what I mean when I'm going to look for another car is that I will probably go to an automatic and a lot of people will be like, why go for an automatic? But I would have done my test in an automatic. Therefore, a lot of people were like, don't do it or you'll never be able to drive manual, which I don't even want to drive manual because manual is so, it's very difficult for me. I don't know if it's just me or if it's a lot of people, but it's just kind of like trying to remember to go into second gear when you do all this stuff or make sure that you're in first gear or you know stalling the car a lot because you're not in the right gear it's just a lot of stress for me and i kind of panic every time i'm at traffic lights and in case like my gear isn't right or when i have to go into neutral or like pull up the gear stick and everything where i've drove automatic cars before and they just felt so me and like they felt so easier for me this is what it looks like on the passenger side uh, yes i have my phone i have my orange juice because i'm so thirsty and then i just have like my camera holder which i'm not even using at the moment and i tried to clean my car <laughs> actually before i showed you this video because that carpet was a complete disaster because of the people that have been getting in that car and not cleaning their feet before they got in I don't even have a glove box, I have like this little tiny thing here that holds like either my face masks, uh, headphones, um, more air fresheners and just that Fiat 500 book. Yeah, and then you have a cool little Fiat 500 sign right here. And then this is the handles, as you can see, I'll show you on my side actually. So this is the handles and I only figured this out actually yesterday that I can lock my door. I did not know that. I figured out that I could lock my door that way and I was so amazed I was like what <laughs> that's freaking awesome this is the back seat they have cute little carpets on the ground too I love the color honestly I did not think that I would be going for a red I always thought if I went for a Fiat 500 it would be blue but all the blue ones were all the blue cars actually didn't have the seats that I liked. They had like these kind of checkered seats, which kind of messed with my eyes. They all had the controls on the wheel and I don't know, it, was just, it just seemed more of a distracting car to have than this one here. This one's really old fashioned. It reminds me of a diner and it's just my style. And I'm so surprised that I went for a red car. As soon as I seen it, I was like, could this be my car? As soon as I sat in it, I was like, is this my car? As soon as I drove, I was like, this is my car. This is 100% my car. And then these buttons here control the windows, which I'm not going to move because they are in a perfect position for me. And there's a little 
freaking spider on it. I'm just going to turn on the car to let you hear a bit of the sound of it and to show you the indicator buttons and just the other small stuff before we get onto the rest of the car, I guess. These are what my keys look like. They're very dingy <laughs> and old. I do need to get new keys, but it's already my main priority. And then my brother just gave me an R. My, my doggy that passed away. I have his little name tag on it. And then on the back it has my phone number and um, his name. You know, the doggy that has this tattoo also. So yeah, I'm going to turn on the car and show you the controls and everything. So these are the control panels here. So obviously this one is my fuel, which is petrol. Temperature maybe, I'm, yeah, that's actually not the time. The time's wrong. Uh, yeah, and then obviously um, that shows you the beams, that shows normal beams. And then I'll press this one. I actually haven't pressed it yet because I haven't. Yeah, and then that's my high beams. Yeah, and then what I was talking about with city mode, it will come up here to say city mode and then it makes the wheel a lot easier to steer. So the way I'm steering this so easily and then on normal one, it's a bit stiffer. Well, not stiffer, but just like a normal wheel. And then the one thing I'm scared about in my test is that if I go into my test and that doesn't make a noise, I'm scared that it's going to affect it. Or if I'm driving and it doesn't go back to normal and I forget that it's on, I feel like he, if he sees it, it'll be also a fail too. But hopefully, it works. And then if I go that way, that also brings out my high beams you can't see. Then, then obviously these, these controls are my back windows. And then this one brings the water. If I push it forward, it brings my water. There you go. That's pretty cool. Pretty decent. So this is the back of my car. There's just a button under here to lift it up. It's so pretty though. Like, oh my god, it looks like so all. It's it's a really spacious car than what well, most people probably think. It's such a tiny car, but you would not think that it has this much of a space of a boot. And all I have are my dog's leads, a bit of a bone. <laughs> and obviously, if you've seen this, you're probably like, what kind of freaky shit do you have in the back of your car? So, the main things I love about the car is that it's so spacious, and if we are to go to my parents, we don't have to make Evan's car filthy anymore on the seat, where this one, okay, watch this one, okay. So if I lift this up, I can take it off. Just put that there for now. And so there are two side buttons on the side of these. So if I just, and then all I do is put the seat down and I've already done it. So I'm going to post a photo on the side of this as well to show what it kind of looks like. There are a bit of dog hairs still kind of left on it, but nothing that you can actually see until you fold it over. But yeah, that is how I would put my dogs in. And then obviously these are just to kind of hold onto them. So like, you know, Safety first guys. See, safety first guys. There's dogs and I still put seatbelts on my own dogs. They have harnesses so it's not like it's choking them. It's the harness that they're holding on to and they lie down and you... Yeah, and it's just easy to like fold back up. So we put you back up and then we put you... And we put you down. Well, there you have it guys. That was my car tour of my Fiat 500 that I only got about a week and a half ago. I'm so thankful for everybody that has helped me and supported me to get this car too. Oh my God, <laughs> she scared me. Guys, look at this, look at this. If you all enjoyed this video, please give it a big like, subscribe, and follow all of my social medias if you want. I don't really have all social media, just TikTok and Instagram. And then obviously, if you have not subbed, please sub to my YouTube channel now. Bye, guys.